The U.S. healthcare system is evolving from a volume fee-for-service system to one that's bundled or performance-based. There's been a lot of attention to how that will impact doctors and hospitals and salary of doctors and what they do and what they don't do. What hasn't really been examined, thought about, or discussed is what does it mean to patients or consumers? And I think there are a few things we need to be aware of and cautious about and to monitor. So as you move to a system where doctors and hospitals have a fixed amount of money that includes drugs and includes MRI scans and costly procedures, the incentive to do more and more now potentially shifts to being more cost effective about what you do, which is a good thing, but you don't want this uh, pe pendulum to go too far in the other direction. And you don't want to have underuse. Now, what would that mean to consumers? Really, it means two potential things. Let's say you had a patient uh, that had rheumatoid arthritis. Right now, there are a lot of good choices, a lot of biologic therapies, which are expensive. So in the new bundled environment, it's very possible that people will think twice about the use of an expensive treatment and they might say, well, use the oral, the generic drugs, and that may lead to deterioration in the patient's condition because the incentives are really quite different. The second piece of the puzzle is as you begin to think about, well, how am I going to manage this amount of money as a provider entity, you may start to narrow choices. So there's many treatments for schizophrenia. Some are expensive, some are less expensive. Will there be a movement towards a smaller net set of choices, smaller formularies, like we're seeing across the states with the implementation of the health exchanges? So will a patient with schizophrenia have a narrower set of choices that really don't do them very well? So what is the protection for consumers in this new environment? And that is to have a good set of quality measures that can tell you that the pendulum may be swinging too far towards underuse. Unfortunately, today in the ACO environment, we have quality measures for hypertension, lipid control, diabetes, but we don't have any for where the drugs are actually quite expensive. Multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, or the whole area of oncology. If we can expand out the quality measures, then the pendulum can move from overuse to proper use. And that's the hope for the consumers and that's the modifications we need to consider.